So then, with the days continue to fly past in the January transfer window, the rumours are now finally actually starting to come in at Leicester Football Club and the latest player to be linked with a move to the King Powell Stadium this summer is Celtic striker Alton Edward. Also Leicester youngster Hamza Chowdhury could be on his way to West Bromwich when his loan deal looks very very likely for the youngster. In today's video we'll be discussing all of that as we get into another transfer video. Yes lads, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now today we'll be discussing some of the latest Leicester transfer rumours this January. We'll be discussing the potential move of Celtic striker Alton Edward and his potential transfer move to Leicester. And we'll also be discussing the potential loan of Hamza Chowdhury to fellow Midland side West Bromwich Albion. But just before we get into all of that, make sure a big thumbs up down below on today's video if you guys are going to enjoy today's video. Want to see some more transfer updates like this for the remainder of the January transfer window? Make sure you subscribe and see my face on your screen before we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Yeah, if you guys could subscribe to the channel, that would be massively, massively appreciated. Also, turn on my channel post notifications so you guys will get a notification every single time I will upload a video on the channel. Follow me on my social medias. Links to them will be in the description down below. Go and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. All links to them will be, the, will, will be in the description down below. Make sure you guys let me know your thoughts on these potential signings, these transfers, in the comment section down below. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into another video and let's talk transfers in the January transfer window. Right then, let's start off by talking a bit about Celtic striker Odson Edward and his potential transfer move to Leicester this January. Of course then, with Islam Samani making a permanent transfer move to French side Leon in Ligue 1, the race is on to sign a replacement for Islam Samani. Although it's probably not needed, there has been a number of rumours surrounding French striker and Celtic forward Odson Edward and a potential move to Leicester City to reunite with course, his former manager. Brendan Rodgers. This could be a very, very big signing for Leicester as Edward is only 22 years old. So could this be the potential long-term replacement of Jamie Vardy and in the short term that the backup striker just behind Vardy because these links are really true and it looks like Odson Edward could be on his way to Leicester this January. This could be a very, very big signing for the Foxes. Of course, with an aging Jamie Vardy up top with him now being 34 years old, the rate to sign a replacement is well and truly on it. Could it be French striker and Celtic forward Odson Edward? He's 22 years old, he's pacey, he's strong, he's a clinical finisher, and that ticks all the, all the boxes for Leicester. The main thing is in this transfer, he has, of course, worked under Brendan Rodgers at Celtic. So, yeah, could Odson Edward reunite with Brendan Rodgers at Leicester? And it could, could he be the long term replacement of Jamie Vardy? Since the Islam Samani transfer, which has now, of course, been confirmed. It's official that Samani is now a Leon player. The rumours surrounding Edwards Leicester has really, really grown in the last couple of days, and this deal could potentially happen. There hasn't been that many rumours, but the rumours have definitely increased. As obviously, Samani is now, of course, a Leon player, and it looks like Leicester could potentially be splashing the cash this January on a backup striker for now. And of course, he could be the, the long-term replacement for Jamie Vardy. Of course, he's a good striker. I know, I know it's a Scottish Premier League, but his stats are very good. And ideally, for me, this will be the perfect striker to come in for Vardy. Be just be just be the backup striker for now, and look to be the, the long-term replacement for Vardy. Of course, going forward, of course, he's got massive boots to fill. Of course, Vardy's probably our best player, but he has been our best player for some time. So. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big, it's a big step, it's a step up for him. But this is a good opportunity for Ed Bonham. I think he'll slot straight into that Leicester side with, with the players around. There's a few French players in the squad, and of course, the main thing in this transfer is the coaching staff, and of course, the main manager Brendan Rogers. If Odson Edwards was to sign for Leicester this January, I can see the deal being quite a costly one to be honest. Obviously, he's, he's pretty young, but he has bags of potential in there. I can see this one being around 20 to 30, 30 million pounds. It has been reported that it has been around that thing, and it, apparently, it has been cut from 40 million to 20 million pounds, which is a bit a weird one in my opinion but yeah there, there's been a lot of speculation around this deal happening it's nowhere near done yet but this is the only room and Leicester have really got with a big player coming in so yeah this one could, could be the real replacement if he wants to sign this January I don't think he'll get as much game time but he could be featured in the in the FA Cup games and potentially the Europe and even some Premier League games as well this guy's got experience in the Europa League as well in Europe so yeah I, I know he's in the Scottish League but he's, he's got a great scoring record so yeah this could be a massive transfer for Leicester in the long term short term wise he won't, he won't be involved too much but in the, in the long term because could see this guy being the main man for Leicester and the main striker going forward hopefully on the Brendan Rodgers but of course Brendan Rodgers has a massive influence in the striker just like I said and it's not only just Rodgers the whole coaching staff has been brought in from Celtic pretty much with the, with the backups with the likes of Kodo Torre in there as well so yeah this transfer could be a big one there's nothing major happening with it yet but I'll make sure to provide you guys updates on the transfer but yeah if Edward was to come to Leicester this summer it would be around 20 to 30 million pounds I've heard but yeah make sure you guys let me know your thoughts on this potential signing in the comment section down below would you guys like to see Edward join let me know down below. 
So then, let's move on and let's speak a bit about Hamza Chowdhury then and his possible loan move to West Bromwich Albion. Of course, this will be an outgoing for Leicester. It's looking likely that, that this deal will happen. It's very, very close to completion. There has been a number of different clubs interested in Hamza Chowdhury. It looked like Newcastle were the favourites to sign him, but now Sam Allardyce's West Brom look the favourites to sign Hamza Chowdhury on a loan this January. There has been talk of Hamza Chowdhury potentially leaving Leicester on a permanent basis, but it looks like West Brom will only want to loan the man. But Brendan Rodgers has basically came out and said if Hamza Chowdhury is going to go on loan, he would rather him just go out and just go and leave Leicester for, for good. And uh, in my opinion, that could potentially be the right thing to do. Of course, Chowdhury is not getting the game time. And I, I know he's still pretty young, but by now I would have expected him to come. And obviously there's Wilfred and Diddy there, but the main thing for me is that the Pardis Mendy is above Hamza Chowdhury in the pecking order with Leicester under Brendan Rodgers. And it's pretty clear to see that he's got the minimal, he's got a lack of minutes this season, has Hamza Chowdhury. And I think a low move probably will be good. And I think we'll get game time at, at West Brom. But is it time for Hamza Chowdhury to leave Leicester for good and move on with his career? Let me know in the comments section down below but yeah this deal looks like it's going to be all but complete it looks like it will be confirmed in the next couple of days and it looks like it will be a low move to Hamza Chowdhury to West Brom and Jabi. in my opinion this will suit Hamza a lot playing Premier League football and that is what he needs if you can get if you can if you can get consistent starts for a struggle in West Brom side which is not which is not the most important thing I think the minutes and the game time in the Premier League more consistently of course he has played in the Premier League a lot but not he hasn't really played consistently and, and if he gets a low move to West Brom he will get that consistency there's been a lot of different clubs in interest in including Newcastle like I said and of course now it's looking like West Brom are now the favourites to sign Hamza Chowdhury on loan which has been reported over a number of different sources in the last couple of days so yeah it looks like Hamza will be off to West Brom and Jalbion and yeah I mean it's a bit of a weird one sending him out loan to a, to a rival Premier League club but I think the Premier League is probably the right standard now for Hamza maybe high tier in the Championship but nothing less than that because Hamza's a good player but and especially at Leicester it's going to be very, very difficult for him to break into that centre defensive midfielder role of course Wilfred Niddy is still young in there so yeah it's going to be difficult for Hamza and my opinion, I'd probably say we should we probably should sell Hamza just for the sake of his own career because yeah, he's, he's not going to get into that CDM role unless there's, unless there's no, no like massive injuries for Leicester. But yeah, should Hamza go on loan or should it be sold permanently? Make sure you guys let me know your thoughts. For this deal, it looks like it will be a loan, but it could be a potential buy to West Brom and in the summer transfer window. We'll have to see. I'll have to see how we get on under Sam Allardyce at the baggies. So yeah. Let me know your thoughts on this potential loan in the comment section down below. Would, would it be good for Hamza? Would it not? Let me know down below. So, boys and girls, that is it for today's video. In today's video, of course, we went through the latest Leicester City transfer rumours. Of course, we talked a bit about Celtic striker Alton Edouard. And just then, we discussed Hamza Chowdhury's possible loan move to West Brom with Jalbion this January. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you do let me know by dropping a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already. Let me know your thoughts on these signings, these potential loan moves, these, these transfers. Just let me know in the comment section down below. But yeah, I'm Mr. Watson. I'll see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Peace, guys.